Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. Last night we got quite a rain and I thought it would be fun to open up more nozzles on the micro hydro turbine and see what kind of power we can produce. With only a single quarter inch nozzle running, the power produced is around 210 watts. I've actually had the quarter inch nozzle open with a single 3 16 and it makes around 330 watts. So hopefully we'll be able to see that as well. I'm going to set you up here on the tripod and I'm going to walk down with the GoPro and we will open up different nozzles and see what kind of power is produced. The reason I'm going to leave you here is because I'm not sure I'll have enough water flow at the turbine to have all of those jets open, but let's go find out. We're down here at the turbine. So the watts up top are right at 200. So we've right now, we just have this single quarter inch jet going and our pressure is running at uh, 65-ish. So let's go ahead and open up this one over here, which is a 3 16 I anticipate the power to now be jumping up to somewhere around 300 to 330. So if I open up this one right here, we will officially have all of the jets going. So what I'm gonna do is shut this one back off. We should still have plenty of pressure there. Yeah, okay. And so now what I'm going to do is open this side, which will give us uh, three quarter inch nozzles, which actually is um, quite a lot. So there's a big old wolf spider down in there. I'm going to be fixing this issue we have with the water uh, and my redesign. Also, opening these two nozzles may cause a backflow in my small three inch exit pipe. And uh, it may bog it down. Let's give it a try. Definitely sped up a good bit. I'm not sure what the watts are. You'll know before I do. Pressure dropped down to 55. I think it's dropping. Let's go ahead and open all the jets and see what our max power is. There we go, that's max. We got 50 PSI there. I don't know how long it's gonna hold. So we've got a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, three sixteenths. I think what's happened is the turbine is bogged down because of not enough uh, room in the pipe to go that way. So let's close. Uh, the valve's off again here. Yeah, I think our housing may be full. See how it spins back up again? Okay, I just ran back up here and watched the footage. As we expected, having uh, the quarter inch and the three sixteenths produced about 330 watts, 
but whenever I opened up all those other nozzles, it uh, had so much water in the housing that it was uh, bogging the turbine down. So that being said, I need to talk about my redesign for the housing. I'm gonna be using PVC trim boards, which are waterproof, and I can um, screw some, I can drill some holes and screw some screws into uh, the inside of that metal housing of the alternator and kind of just set it down on top of a much bigger opening. And that way I can have maybe a four inch pipe that um, will reduce down to a three inch at some point, but um, it'll allow the um, that metal casing to drop all the water into a box that's maybe, oh, I don't know, four or five inches deep and have a much better option for draining than straight into a three inch pipe. So anyway, um, look forward to that in the future and we will come back to this test and get uh, hopefully 500 watts out of this system. While I have you here, I want to mention that I'm gonna be doing an off-grid uh, inverter over here on this side. So I'll be using a 48 volt system. So I'm gonna take this extra battery here and combine it with three others. And basically I'll have 48 volts, but I'll have two battery banks so that I have a lot more time with my uh, power feeding into the house. And I'm doing that for a couple of reasons. With the off-grid inverter, let's say we were without power for two days, I will have anywhere from 200 to uh, 1,000 watts coming in based on my solar and hydro, and that should keep the batteries pretty good. We can run the refrigerator, the internet. Um, I don't think we can run our well pump because it is so deep, but at least we'll have um, that much battery to run things in the house. But anyway, that will be another video coming up before long. I already have the stuff. I just have to take the time to get it installed. Sorry I didn't get you a, a giant power rating at this point, but we will come back and do that later. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.